Hi everyone, welcome to using Google Slides like a boss. Uh, we are going to explore a little bit about Google Slides and if you have any questions uh, you, can, uh, you can ask. Um, you can either put it in the discussion down below or you can, uh, you can email me as well which I'll put up at the end. All right, so hopefully you get a few things out of, uh, out of this uh, webinar uh, about using Google Slides. So first of all, let's talk about the agenda. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is what is Google Slides. We'll talk about uh, some of the things that you can use Google Slides for as well in some different ways. And I'll show off some of those ways that I've, that I've kind of used in the past and I've seen other people use as well. Uh, so first of all, what is Google Slides? Well, Google Slides is basically the Google equivalent to PowerPoint. Uh, very similar to that. Uh, this is what uh, Google Slides looks like when you first open it. So uh, you'll notice if, you, if you've never used it before, you will just have uh, these, uh, these themes up at the top, very similar to PowerPoint. Uh, you can start a new presentation and they have some different themes that you could start with if you want to. Uh, typically, I start with the blank ones for the purposes that I use it for, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, the ones down here on the bottom, everything you see on the bottom is what I have used, what I've, what I've previously used or previously made and brought into Google Slides. Uh, so what is Google Slides? Well, it's a presentation software and that's what we know PowerPoint as as well. However, you can make PowerPoints, or I'm sorry, you can make Google Slides uh, very interactive as well. And, and you could do the same thing with, with PowerPoints as well. Um, so you've probably seen something like the, the Jeopardy games, right? So that is a very interactive way to use PowerPoint. Um, we can do some of the same things in, in Google Slides as well. The great thing about Google Slides is that we can start sharing them. We can share them with our students and then they can actually work in those and then share it back with us as well, which I'll show you uh, once we get into um, how to share these into Google, Google Classroom. Uh, so first of all, let me, let me talk a little bit about how you, could, uh, how you could use these. So the first thing that I would do if I were you, is if I would, um, I would make sure that you're logged into your Google Slides account, uh, your Google account, and then open up Google Slides. Um, if you go ahead to blank presentation, uh, you'll notice that opens up a brand new, a brand new page like you see here. Very similar. Again, if you're familiar with PowerPoint, that's what this looks like, right? Um, so up here in the top corner, it does say Untitled Presentation, so you can name your file up here. And then down here, you can actually start building your building your your presentation. Um, so first of all, you could definitely use this as a presentation tool. So if you have some old PowerPoints that you you know that you've used with your kids before, uh, maybe you're just giving some information about a specific topic, you could actually bring that right in. So you could take that PowerPoint, you could upload it to your Google Drive, and then when you go to open that, it's going to ask you if you want to open it as, what do you want to open it as? Do you want to download it as a PowerPoint? Do you want to open it as a PowerPoint? Or would you like to convert that over to Google Slides? So if you have those, if you have those old files, those, you know, those PowerPoint files that you've used in the past, you can bring those right in here. Um, the only thing that I will say is sometimes the, the formatting is a little goofed up because it doesn't, it doesn't perfectly transfer over to Google Slides. So you'll have to take a look and there's probably not much, you know, major work that you would have to do. However, there may be some minor things uh, formatting wise that you would have to change. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at how you could, uh, how you could use these. So I want to go over to PowerPoint and one of the things that I've been using uh, these, let's see here. One of the things that I've been using uh, in my Google um, uh, slides and I've been bringing these things over, the things that I've made, um, I've been bringing things over to make them a little more interactive. So like I said, I could share them with students in Google Classroom. So this is a PowerPoint file that I've created. Now, the reason that I start in PowerPoint to create these files that I want the kids to work on is because I, I find that PowerPoint is just a little easier to work with. Um, so I, uh, this is just an example here. So there's a story elements graphic organizer. So I have this, I made this in here. Everything is pieced together. Um, so I, you know, these are all, these are pieces of clip art. Of course, you don't need to use those. You could actually just go up and make some auto shapes if you want to. I brought in all this clip art and, um, and, and did what I wanted to do with this. So this is actually something that I could use on paper if I wanted to, um, but I created it in um, uh, PowerPoint so that I could print it out and give it to students just like this. Or what I could do is I can now take this, this sheet right here, this page that I just made, and I could take it over into uh, Google Slides. So let me show you how I would do that. So the very first thing that um, you could do after you create something in here, so just even if it's just one slide, what I would do, and I'll, let me actually, before I do that, let me show you a few of these that I have here. So um, visualizing, there's a couple of different slides on visualizing. So you can just get an idea. You could make these 
like I said, you can make these in PowerPoint and then you can take these over into Google Slides pretty easily to make them a little more interactive. Um, so you can see here they're sequencing, um, also a compare contrast. So we have a, a Venn diagram here that you could take over as well. Let's take over, uh, let's take over, let's see here. This one is understanding characters. Let's take over the understanding character. So what I would do with this one, um, once I build this in, in PowerPoint, notice that I didn't put in here, this is where I want the kids to type, right? And up here, I want them to write the book title. So I left all of that blank. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here to file. I'll go to uh, save a copy and I'm gonna to go to more options. And you'll see here, um, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop right now. Obviously you'd probably wanna save it somewhere where you know, you're going to know where it is. But right this second, I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. Now down here, it says save as type. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to head down to the PNG. So it's a picture file. You could use a JPEG as well if you wanted to. I'm gonna use the PNG, the ping file. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name this, um, I'm going to name this graphic. Oh, actually, I think that's what it already was. I'll just say graphic and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and do save. It pops up and it says, which of the slides do you want to export? Now, I only wanted to do just that one. So I'm going to say just this one because it was the page, the page that I was already on. So now I'm going to head over to, I'm going to head back over just to show you uh, what this would look like. So I'm going to head over here and now I have this picture file on my desktop of just a picture of that slide, okay? So now I'm gonna head back over to my Google Slides presentation. Now, this is where this is where it starts getting a little uh, tricky. Not tricky, just make sure that you remember these things. So originally when I made this file, because I wanted to be able to either print this or I could take this into, um, like I said, a digital file, I made the page size here eight and a half by 11. So let me uh, show you how you would do that. So if you're going to start making some of your own stuff in PowerPoint and then taking it into slides, you would wanna to go to design, slide size, custom slide size, and then you could change the size here. And notice that I have it in as eight and a half by 11, okay? So it's already there. So you need to do the same thing over here. You need to do the same thing in, um, in Google Slides. So I'm going to go to file, and I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom where it says page setup here. Okay, so if I click on page setup, it's automatically set up as widescreen. So if I click on that, I go to custom and I'm gonna change that to eight and a half by 11. And I'll say, okay. So notice that changes my slide size. Now, here's what I can do. I'm gonna get rid of these boxes here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna right click. I'm going to say change background. I'm going to say image is what I wanna change. So I'm gonna go choose. And now it brings up and it says, you know, it should put a put a, some sort of image in there. Um, what I can do is I'm just gonna head over to my desktop and I named that graphic. So I'm gonna take that picture file that I saved and I'm going to drag it in there. And I'm going to say done. So now we have this as the background. Now the, the, you could insert that as a picture as well if you wanted to, but the only problem with that is if you insert it as a picture, the kids are able to move it around. So if they if they click and start moving, it moves around. Notice here, I'm clicking and dragging it and nothing's happening because it's it's as the background, it's set as the background uh, image for this. All right, so now what I can do is I can go up here and I can go ahead to um, the text box, which is this little guy right here. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to put in a text box here. And usually what I'll do is I'll just say like type, type here. Actually, I don't know if that's writing because it's in a different color, okay. So I need to make this white text as well. So I'm gonna go ahead over and do white and I'll probably make that just a little bigger. So when the kids come in here, now they'll be able to take that file and type inside of there. So now I'm gonna do the same thing down here because the kids are gonna type in these boxes as well. Gonna change that back to black. And I'll probably make the text just a little smaller for this one. There we go. And then I'm just gonna copy those over into these other boxes as well. And to do that, it's Control C to copy and Control V to paste. So I can take those in and drop those in there. Okay, so now up here uh, for this title presentation, I'm gonna call this Understanding, Understanding Characters, perfect, okay. So now I have this one page graphic organizer that I can share with kids and they can type inside of these boxes, right? So I'll show you how to do that in a bit as well as far as 
um, as far as doing that in um, Google Classroom. All right, so that's one way that we could use Google Slides. We could go in here and we can actually save a picture as a background, which like you saw, I did it in PowerPoint, and then they could write over top of it. So it's a little more interactive, okay? Um, a lot of different features here, um, very similar to PowerPoint. I know I keep saying that, but it's very similar to PowerPoint. So um, you could, um, you know, you could animate things if you want to, if you want to share this with students or maybe not this file, but if you want to share um, uh, just like you would in a normal PowerPoint presentation, um, if you wanted to animate things or, you know, have things come up um, just like you would in a PowerPoint, you could do that. So you could do that in here as well. Insert, um, pretty much the standard things, text box, image. You have a chart just like uh, just like PowerPoint. Um, in this case, it's going to use, uh, it's going to come from Sheets though. So the Microsoft um, equivalent to this, you would have Excel where you could insert a sheet or a bar graph or some sort of graph. In here, you would do that with uh, with Sheets. Same things down here, you have your animations, you can put on your slide numbers, all that good stuff. Um, and then down here, slide underneath slide, you can add in uh, multiple things as well. Formatting, um, you can arrange things, um, the tools that you typically have as well. Um, so there's a bunch of different features in there. Um, over here on the right hand side, it's still giving me my themes. Right now, I don't need that because I started with a blank page, so I could actually get rid of that. You could present this, but in this situation, when you're using this with kids, you really don't need to do that. You don't need to present it because they're actually writing inside of this. Um, they're writing inside of these boxes, and if you present, you can't write inside of the boxes. So it does need to stay in, in this mode, in this edit mode, uh, for students to use that. All right, so let me jump over and let me just show you um, what I would do here. So I could share this now with students in my, I could share this, if you're using Google Classroom, you could share this with students. So I'm gonna go ahead over, I'm gonna head over to Google Classroom. I'm gonna go back to classes so you can see what that would look like. All right, um, okay, got it. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead. If you have a class here already, I'm gonna jump in. I'll just jump into this test class. Um, so I'm gonna click on there. And right over here on the bottom corner, you have the little plus sign. So you have a few different things that you could do. So the thing that I'm going to do right now is I am going to uh, create an assignment. So if I click on create assignment, it says uh, four, and then which class do you want to assign it to? And if you have more than one class, you can assign it to more than one class. Um, all of your students, so it, once you have students in here, you would be able to click the students that you want this to go to. And uh, the title of this, um, I'll say understanding, uh, understanding the characters from the cost of gold, okay. All right, so I am going to um, just put in some sort of title there. You do want to be specific with that because when you're giving grades and giving feedback, it is important that you put that in there, okay? Um, the instructions, you could put instructions if you want to. Obviously, it does say optional here, so you don't need to do that if you don't want to. Um, and then down here on the bottom, you have a few different options. So I have the attachment, so I can attach something from my computer if I want to. You have Google Drive, um, a YouTube video, or a link. Um, you also have the due date here in the topic as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do Google Drive because... Whenever you do something in Google Slides, it saves into it saves into your Google your Google Drive account. So I'm going to click on this little symbol, which is Google Drive. And the best part about this is anything that you just made, it's going to show up. Uh, it's going to show up um, uh, at the very top here. So if you just made something, it is going to show up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click this because that's my understanding characters. I'm going to add that. And now this is the this is the very important part, okay? Super important. So over here on the right hand side, you have students can view file. If I click on that, you have a few different options here. So students can view file. So if you just want students to look at the understanding characters graphic organizer that we just made and put inside of Google Slides, you could click that button. If you want them to um, be able to edit the file, you're going to click this. Let me explain what the difference is between these last two though. So when you say students can edit file, all of the students that you assign this to are going to be able to edit that file. So if you're giving this to your entire class of 25 kids, all of them are going to be able to edit that one document that you shared, okay? Which you probably don't want in most cases, maybe sometimes depending on the activity that you're doing, you may want to. Um, but actually what you wanna do is you wanna do make a copy for each student. Um, in most cases, if you're giving individual grades or if you want the kids to be doing this in, you know, with a buddy or by themselves, you're, you're going to make a copy for each one of the students. That way, this document that you have in your Google Drive, that's the, that's the template that you made, but you're now giving a copy to each one of your students, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on make a copy for each student. 
and I'm going to go ahead and say assigned. Now, um, I don't have any students right now, so I did this and noticed that it says zero and zero, done and not done. Once the kids start finishing this up, you'll be able to see them. It'll start hopping over from not done to done, so you know how many kids did it. Now, you can click on that. And there's nothing in it. It's not going to be here for me, but once the students start doing it and finishing it, it's going to say over here, it's going to show all those KWLs by the students who finished them. So you could click on it, give them feedback. You could even give it a grade up here if you wanted to. Um, you could say it's ungraded as well, but you could give it any grade you want. And if you wanted to change the grade, you could go ahead and do that too. So if you're saying this is out of four points, we could do that. So if you do like a rubric score or something along those lines, you can go ahead and type in uh, a different number there. Okay. And then once the students start finishing, you can give them a grade in this column right over here. Okay. All right. So that's one way that you could use uh, that you could use Google Slides. Okay. So you can bring in, uh, again, you could bring in um, a slide that you've created. You can take, bring that in from PowerPoint. Um, and you could uh, bring that in as a picture and then have them have the kids start working on that in, in an interactive way. Instead of doing it on, you know, pencil and paper, they could do that. They could do that on, on a, a digital file as well. So if you're looking to go paperless, that's perfect. All right. So that's one thing we could do. Um, another thing that we could do, and I'm going to start over here. I'm going to go back to uh, I'm going to go back to slides. So it's uh, slides.google.com if you're looking to actually get to uh, Google Slides. Um, all right, so I'm going to jump back over here, and now, you know what, I'm going to make a, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to do one of the, uh, let's see, I'll do one of the themes. So I'll go ahead, and I clicked on one of the themes, and notice that it just, you know, it just, there's a, there's a little bit of, um, uh, there's the color, and you'll see the slides pop up here in a second on the, on the left. So, um, there's a specific color, uh, scheme going on, there's, you know, some, the font is pretty much all the same, um, and yeah, so let me see here because I actually don't need all of these slides. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to delete a bunch of these because I don't need that many. Um, something else I could do is if you have, actually, let me just delete these first. So delete slides. All right. So if you have, um, maybe you want to uh, take some a PDF possibly or some uh, text that you have somewhere else. Maybe it is in a PowerPoint. Maybe it is a PDF. Maybe it's something else in your computer. Maybe it's even like a picture that you have already. You could do that and bring it in here as well. So let me show you what I mean. So this one, uh, let's see here. So I'm going to say this one's going to be called comparing myths. All right. So comparing myths. And we're going to say um, buy, and I'm going to put that there so the kids can actually write in. Maybe they can write in, um, they can write in their name after that just so we have the name when we go ahead to grade this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these. So there's a couple pictures and things that I don't really want. See, that's why I prefer, I, I really prefer to start with a blank slate so I don't have to worry too much about, about all of this. All right, so I have a text that I have already over in, uh, this is actually in PowerPoint too, but you could do it with anything. So if you wanted to do this with, um, you wanted to do this, you know, if you had a PDF, like I said, you could do the same thing. Now, one thing that you could do, you could take this and you can actually copy and paste all the text and put it into, paste the text into your PowerPoint or your, your slide presentation. Um, now, the other thing that I could do and that I really like is my, I really enjoy my snipping tool. So uh, the snipping tool is down here on the bottom of the screen. And if it's not there, just go ahead over here to the search, uh, to the search bar and type in snipping tool. And it actually just snips a part of my screen for me. So in this case, I am going to go ahead and I am going to snip that. And it just gives me a picture of that. So then there's this little copy button. You can click on copy. I'm going to head back over to, I'm going to head back over online uh, to my slides presentation. And now I'm going to do control V and notice that it just pastes, it pastes that in there for me. Okay. So uh, the title of this, what was it? The title of this was, uh, what is a myth or legend? All right. Uh, let's see if I can get back over there. There we go. Okay, so what is a myth or legend? Okay, so I'm just going to make that a little bigger. Perfect. Okay. All right, so the great thing about this, right? So I had I had all of this, like I said, in a PowerPoint file already, which actually it was turned into a, a PDF at one point as well. But anyways, um, this, is, this is here. I have this text. Um, there is a story. Okay, so this story right here, this is the tale of Medusa, uh, a Greek myth. So I could take all of this over 
I could bring each one of those slides into, into my, uh, my slides presentation, and I can actually ask questions here. So let's just pretend that I already had all of that text in there. I'm gonna duplicate the slide, and you can actually start writing the questions here for your kids, right? So um, I'll just say uh, quick, quick questions. All right, so now I'm going to say, okay, number one. Number one, what is the difference between a myth and a legend? Okay, and let's see here. Okay, so now I can give the kids a little bit of room to work there as well. So if I wanted to just leave that blank, I could do that. So that way the kids could actually go in there and they could type in some of their answers, okay? So now I could jump down here. I could do the same thing here. So I'll just ask a new question and I'll say, um, what was Medusa's tragic flaw? All right. So, you know, the, the uh, actually, you know, maybe I would say explain there as well. All right. So the kids could actually write in there and answer some of those questions, okay? So that's another way I could use this as well. I could take the information that I already have. I could take that information that's, you know, that's some sort of digital file and I could actually just go ahead and, and bring, it into, um, bring it into Google Slides. Um, so that's another way I could use it as well. Um, so a lot of different options here. Let me head back over to, uh, let me head back over here. A lot of different options here. Um, you could use this, like I said, as an interactive tool. So the kids are interacting with things um, the kids are interacting with things within that Google Slides um, um, PowerPoint uh, file, um, and they'd be able to share that back with you, which is just so much easier when you're able to share that back within Google uh, Classroom, and you can actually just grade it there instead of having, you know, instead of having a ton of paper. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. There's a lot more that you could do with it as well. We'll probably do a part two of this coming up very soon. Um, but if you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the discussion. And, uh, and I'll, I'd be happy to help you out and, uh, and answer those for you. Thanks so much.